What is good guys and welcome to today's video. We're going to start off by going to the gas station and not in a regular car. Um, I was like, yo, anyone want anything from the gas station? Jack was like, I'd love a bottle of water. And I'm like, I'll trade you a bottle of water to let me take this to the gas station. So I'm going to take uh, Jack side by side to the gas station once again. Uh, Honda Roo's still in the diner there working some stuff out. But let's jump into this thing. I love this thing so much. And uh, go get Jack a bottle of water. Whoa. Look at that little turbo chunk. <laughs> This thing is epic. I love this thing so freaking much. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, it sounds amazing. All right, let's go get Jack his, uh, his drink. Well worth it. Here you go, my guy. Oh yeah. Well traded. I enjoyed that. Sorry, double handling. It's all right. hey, Enjoy, man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Next <laughs> time. <laughs> We just arrived at Keener's. Gonna go pick up the engine, I'm so excited. Damn, that is one huge crankshaft. That's nearly as tall as me. I was asking the guy about where that massive crankshaft came from and he said that uh, it's out of a Cummins but he said that ain't nothing compared to what this came out of. So they were apparently working on a cruise ship generator, not the engine for the cruise ship, just the generator and that's a valve from it. That's insane. <laughs> Can you believe that? Huge. Huge. I bet you it's heavy too. Small. Yeah. I can hand, hand, hand. Yo. <laughs> so here is the bottom end assembled, rotating assembly. Look at those pistons there with that ceramic coating. Mmm, that looks great. And then this is my head. The thing literally looks brand new. And we got some other odd ends and pieces and bits that we need to take home as well. I am way too excited to start assembling everything tonight. Hell yeah, man. I feel like right now it should be hashtag Florida. This donk is sick. I do like that blue. Nice, man. He, he pumping. So we are back at the shop now and I've got everything laid out and we're going to start assembling everything. But before we can do anything, I need to get the engine on an engine stand so that then, you know, we can start looking at bolting stuff on because we can't just bolt stuff on on the floor like this. Um, but damn, like as I take the plastic off this thing, the guys at the machine shop did such a good job. Everything, like they even painted the block for me. The head is literally brand new. I don't know if you can really see that, but it looks so good. Everything's ready in the head for me to bolt on with the head gasket and everything and the studs. Um, so pretty much the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get the bracket with all the bolts and stuff, bolt it onto the block. We're gonna get it on the engine stand and get it here and start assembling this thing. I'm way too excited. I. <laughs> Man, it's so insane that everything's just all laid out here and we're pretty much going to be putting this together tonight. I'm pumped. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Ooh. It's heavier than it looks, doesn't it? Yeah, really. Right. Yeah. Bring the slider in. There we go. Where's the pin? Um, Give me a bolt. Right Get a bolt. Right. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Perfect pin. That'll work. Nine. There we go. There it is. So I just finished going over every surface on the engine, cleaning up any residue of oil with a brake cleaner and shop towels. I got the head gasket down there with its first coat of the copper sealing gasket spray stuff. You guys probably know about that. I started going through all my gaskets and stuff, making sure I had everything ready. Um, but I did make a discovery with my oil pump gasket. I don't have that. I thought it came with the oil pump kit. I should have triple checked, I just assumed. So we'll be getting one tomorrow morning. Also, I noticed that I didn't have the gasket for the oil pickup that then obviously connects to the bottom of the oil pump. So we're getting those tomorrow morning. So we're not putting the oil pan on today or the oil pump. Um, but we can do everything else. So, you know, we're going to put the head gasket on with the ARP head studs, get this, the head on there torqued and locked down. We could even put, you know, the valve cover on and stuff so that way it kind of looks a bit complete. And then we'll start working on anything else we can that doesn't involve needing the oil pan on or anything like that. So let's keep going at it. We've got to wait for that to dry, flip it, do another coat on that side, and then we can start putting it together.
We got the head gasket on there, all copper gasket coated. Let's line this thing up. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on. Where are we at? Where are we at? Whoa. This is pretty cool. It's on there. Get a little, little rock. A little shimmy. A little shimmy. Get it on those dial pins. Hang on, what's up? What's going on? I did put the head on right, right? <laughs> it goes oh, yeah. one way. There we go. Yeah. That's the back. The front on? Yeah, front's on. Whew! It's an engine again. It's got a head, guys. All right, we gotta lube up all the studs. Get those on. Washers and studs, ARP, let's go. So just going through, one by one, lubing me nuts. Getting that assembly lube all in there. Mm. Get that on there. Where'd Spin that it. Go? And then going through doing the rest of the studs and then after that we'll go get the torque sequence and uh, go through and talk everything to spec. Um, the ARP did include a little thing with it so I'll probably follow ARP specs. But everything is coming together really nice. I'm actually so pumped. Heads on. This thing's gonna look good. We might be able to put the valve cover on in a bit too. What do you think? Sure. Valve cover and then intake manifold? Yeah, uh, no, we won't put the intake manifold on yet because I still got to get a bunch of seals and things like that. Hmm. Like I need to find the cam angle sensor seal. Like yeah. that's just hollow right now. I've been looking everywhere. It seems like the only place that I can find a part number for it is O'Reilly's. That's driving me insane. For sure. The way you got to torque these things down is you got to start, I think it's at 30, then 45, and then finish at 65. And you got to go through like a nice star pattern. So we're setting this puppy to 30 right now. Okay. 30. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then yeah, you get the idea. It's like inside and you work your way out. So now that the head's on, I started going over some of the other stuff. So I've just got this tacked on right now, about to tighten it once the RTV sets a little bit, but that's the Super Miata coolant reroute kit. So that blocks off the front port entirely. And then I started looking at all the gaskets and everything I have for the water pump. And so this is what I was saying before. I thought I was missing the gasket for the oil pump, right? But it turned out I did have it all. And this is what drives me insane. Cause I was like, I swore I, I didn't order it because I already had it. And I did, it just, I put it all in a different box and didn't know. So here Here's the oil pickup gasket and we've already got the gasket sitting on the oil pump so we can now actually fully assemble this engine tonight which I'm really excited about I was super devastated when I realized I couldn't um, so we're gonna start putting all of this together start with the oil pump water pump um, I have the sump and the windage tray that I wanted I want to use currently in the hot tank um, so I'll be taking that out and cleaning it and going in. This thing is works a treat, especially with this heating element. Seriously amazing. Um, the next thing that we're doing to make this better actually is just an aquarium air pump on the bottom. So it agitates the water and keeps everything moving. So anyways, we're going to get back into this engine, get this thing fully assembled. I'm pumped. We literally will probably have this complete tonight and it's only 10 PM. We got plenty of time left. Ooh, that was satisfying. <laughs> There it yeah. goes. Ooh, and now we all gotta do is get all the bolts and torque it down. Man, everything's getting torqued to spec, by the way, on this build. There is nothing that I'm just ugga dugging and sending in. This, dude, look at the front of this. Like the little boundary logo kind of laser etched in there. So legit. And it already comes pre-pressed with a brand new nice front main seal. Man, this is so satisfying. Like I've always loved watching people building engines on YouTube. This is like the first one that I'm like doing majority of it all myself. And it's so satisfying. So a fair bit has happened since the last time I picked up the camera. We've got the water pump, oil pump all bolted on. Um, I am now ready to start doing the oil pan and everything. I just finished pulling everything out of the hot tank. And this thing is just up here drying now after I cleaned it with the pressure cleaner and went over it with the wire wheel just to get off any extra RTV. Uh, the pan itself, I've just got it soaking in some more paper power outside to do a final cleanup. Um, but yeah, things are coming together pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have pretty much the whole engine assembled um, tonight. I am so excited. Just like a few like finishing touches I'll leave for tomorrow, like, you know, adding the water line pipe and stuff across here and, and whatnot. But I'm about to get ready to drill the sump and get the oil return line in there. 
Um, man, I'm so excited. This thing's coming together so quick. Man, so pumped. I just finished cleaning down all of the surfaces on the bottom side here, getting ready to mount the windage tray and the sump. Um, I have clean, oh sorry, I put the rear main in with this little um, gasket and bracket here as well for the sump gasket. Um, it came with oil resistant RTV because these are sealed on with RTV. We're not going to be putting crazy amounts on this. As you guys know, it was a nightmare to pull off the other two oil pans that were on the previous engine because the guys just kept RTVing on top of old RTV like three or four times. So we're gonna be doing just like thin layers and enough that's gonna seal between these two things because these stack on top of each other on here. Um, I did also get the oil drain installed. Now I did come with like two crush washers for either side of it, um, but what I wanted to do was um, I uh, put a bit of oil resistant RTV in between there as well, just to prevent any oil leaking out at all, just to make sure for peace of mind. So just a tiny bit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start putting this on and then uh, next clip, hopefully, bam, it should be done. All right, here we go. Last thing to do today, get the oil pan on. Oh, you already got the, the drain and everything. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, fancy, dog. Yeah, dude, it's been a while since you've seen what I've been up to. I mean, you've been just steady working, so. Yeah, I've been like non-stop on this. Oh, it's Chris out there. Yes, good take. Yeah! Learn a few things, you know? The oil pan is now completely bolted on and everything went really nice. I cleaned off any excess um, RTV that squished out and it looks fire. I have to say, this little tool that uh, James brought me ha is absolutely amazing. Um, it's so good. You just put any tube of RTV in this and it m turns it into like a silicon gun. And as you can see, like as you use it, it just kind of thins out the tube all the way to the end. I almost want this just for my tube of toothpaste at home. Like, <laughs> this is awesome. Anyways, so that aside, I decided to use the Permatex black stuff because this stuff's like maximum oil resistance and the stuff that came with the, um, the oil pan, like half moon gasket stuff, doesn't really say that it's oil resistant on it. So I decided to just go with the Permatex stuff we already had, but this is all done. All I need to do now is flip the engine back up and uh, I'm gonna put a bag on it for tonight, but let's go get the valve cover and just sit it on the top to see what it's gonna look like. So I've got the engine flipped up now. I just put the brand new cam seals in and we're gonna leave things here for today, but curiosity is getting the better of me. We need to see what this is gonna look like. So let's just briefly, what'd you say? Put it all on? <laughs> all right. Do you wanna come hold the camera for me then? All right, Alex is gonna help. I'm so excited, right? It's gonna look so good. Um, this little Super Miata thing, even though it's orange, don't worry about it. You're not gonna see it at all. When the timing cover's on there, you, you won't even see that, that that's there. So don't stress about that. Um, but yeah, let's get these covers on. All right, so we're just gonna, just gonna sit that there for now. Dang. Damn. I might right. have to copy you on that color, dude. Dude, you can do that all you want, man. You've got a SR gun in your car, a KA, right? KA. Yeah, hang on. All right, all right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oof. Right there. Just hope it doesn't fall off. Dude. And with the black turbo manifold and everything. Hang on, let me go get that. Yeah, because that came back today. Damn dog, it's looking so fire. Yo. Dang, that looks good. Damn. Damn. All right, wait, 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 we're not done yet. Finishing touch, huh? Finishing touch. That one you might have to hold. Yeah, that one you definitely gotta hold. But yeah, just support it like that. Just gonna hold it. 
But like, but look at that. Just imagine this, guys. That How thing spooling. Good. Is this gonna look? <laughs> it's insane. Some people might say it's a lot of uh, a lot of pink, but nah. Nah, not at all. Never enough. And in the black engine bay, this is gonna. Look oh amazing. yeah, this is gonna pop. Dude, I'm so excited. For sure. Nice high view. Well, there we go, guys. Completely assembled the motor today. All we got to do now are just like dress up items, valve cover, all that kind of stuff. But all things considered, it's pretty much ready to roll. Time to uh, put her in a bed for the night, which means suffocating her in a plastic bag. Don't do this, children. Please don't. Um, there's warnings on bags for a reason. And there you go. I remember when I was a kid, like I, I asked my parents, I was like, why, why, why does it say on the packaging not to put uh, plastic bags around your head? And of course I was like curious as to why they were telling me not to do that. So what do you think I did? I put a plastic bag on my head. <laughs> so there we have it guys. The engine is pretty much gonna be ready in the next few days to be dropped into the Miata. So keep an eye out for that. I am beyond excited. This is literally what I've been waiting for. This is what has stopped me from doing so much on the car and it's now right around the corner. I hope you're all excited. Let me take this moment to remind you, don't forget to get your Miata entries. There's only about a week or so left now. Head to semit.net forward slash shop, buy as much merch as you can. Every 500 yen spent is one entry. And uh, yeah, tell me in the comment section if you're pumped. I cannot get over how satisfying it was assembling everything today. Um, when I'm way more confident with assembling rotating assemblies and learn all of that properly, I am beyond excited to do that to my own cars. Like I said, I really, you know, I did not want to make any mistakes in the rotating assembly and because I'm not super experienced with that, that's why I got the machinist to just do that. And as you can see, everything else that I've done, I'm doing now because I have experience on it and I trust myself and I know it's going to turn out good. So, hope you guys understand that. Thanks for all of your continued support. I hope you're having an amazing day. Stay positive and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Shamata. What did you just say? Shamata. <laughs>